Well, he would hit the wall, and and the wall would crumble because they, those the walls and studios are not put up for a house to live in forever. So we would come in, there'd be a hole in the wall, and or he took he took martial arts. So we would come in and he would be jumping from table to table or whatever his lesson was in martial arts, he would be doing that. Or he would bring something that had no business there, a raccoon, and turn it loose in the, in the you know, just, just something. He was a little boy, he really was. He, he, what happened was he was, he had too much too soon. He was just reached in the barrio, picked him up and put him in the president's Oval Office, and that it was there was no time to learn to expand. Did you ever feel any tension between him and the producers or the directors of the show? No, everybody knew him to be what he was, a little boy, and so they really treated him that way, which I I'm not sure was the right thing to do because it encouraged him to continue to do that. But um, um, you you couldn't help but love him. He had such charisma. How did you learn that he had died? They called, no, I was in Cleveland. Yes, I was in Cleveland and my daughter's nanny called me and told me that what had happened. And I came home immediately so I could be here. Um, how did the rest of the cast and the crew take his death? It was overwhelming. It was something you never expected at all, you know, it, he had so much to live for. And it was a mistake, he didn't intend to do that. It was just another one of the things, clowning, that he did. Things, he, he liked for you to go, <gasps> that this turned him on, if he could make you do that. And that was another time, only this time it was terrible. 